All right, Baldino Boy here. I just want to go over importing Tropical Forest Pack 1.1 update. Um, all right, first of all, it's a big file, so download and import is going to take a little bit of time, but it's hard to get all those models and textures, you know, in a small file. You know, get half everything, but you know, you lose a lot of quality to save 400 megabytes. But yeah, it's just going to take a while to download and import, but it should be okay. Um, also, on import, you'll get this error. Oh, I'm using Unity 2017.1 for this video. But in this, you'll have this import error. Um, this is fine. I don't know why Unity always does this with certain textures. But yeah, I would not, you know, include a normal map or anything that was, you know, using sRGB. And it's going to be correct. So. Yeah, you can just ignore that. If you fix, then the map, the t some of the trees will just look really nuts. So you don't want to do that. So press ignore, and don't let Unity mess that up. I don't know why it does that. Uh, and you'll get a lot of these imports, um, these little minor errors, um, inconsistent LOD naming. And, um, yeah, LODs are fine. The prefabs are already set up, so you don't have to worry about setting those imports. Um, lighting data, I'm not sure why. I don't I don't use on um, Enlighten or anything for the demo scenes. And yeah. Um I guess lock cursor is obsolete. So just minor errors on um, with each uni version there might be something more more important, more major. Um yeah, just message me via email or on the forums and I'll get that fixed. Because you know, shaders do you know, Unity changes a lot of things with these versions, so shaders might be broken, but if it's just these minor errors, or even if there, there might be sometimes a red audio error, I'm not sure why, but I get those sometimes on import test. Um, it's fine. It's just for some reason audio mixer sometimes messes up. All right, so we just clear those, and I'm gonna open up a demo now. We'll, oh, I guess forgotten ravine. Now we'll set the lighting and all that. So you'll see on base import, you're about to see, it takes a while to load. But um, on first import, an empty project. Of course, you could, you could load this. You know, it's an art um, package, so you could load it into your, your game project. It won't break anything. Um, and if you're already set to deferred and linear, linear color space, deferred rendering, then, you know, it should look fine. And most likely, you have your image set up in your you know, image effects set up in your project. Um, I do recommend, this is a PBR package. Um, you know, it's not a tree creator package, just throw in somewhere. It's a, it's a PBR package, and I do highly recommend using it with linear color space and deferred rendering. Um, yeah, because it's just not going to look right without that. All right, so you notice it's really skippy at first. Um, I guess it's just, I don't know why, I guess Unity just loads in all the textures as you're going through all the LODs and everything. But once it loads everything, it should be fine. All right. So yeah, right now it doesn't look great. There's no image effects. It's in gamma lighting space, um, forward rendering. I don't think forward would make an effect without any effects. But yeah, it's just not going to look perfect. <laughs> it looks, yeah, um, very um, non-PBR. All right, so now what we'll do is we'll go to Edit, Project Settings, and Player. And here we'll just change it to Linear. I'm not including any project settings with this since it's an art package. So, you know, if you're importing this into a new project and you're wondering why it looks the way it is, then, you know, I'm just, that's why I'm going through this. So you could set your settings so it looks better. Let that load. Come on, it's just a color space. I don't know why it takes so long to change color spaces. All right, I guess it's locked up. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it's definitely looking a little better. Um, yeah. Again, it loads all the textures again. I guess it's. I guess that's why it takes a while to say them all to linear. Um, all right. So now we'll go over to the graphics settings, project settings, graphics. 
and we will yeah on whatever your whatever tier your computer is set to just go to that and disable use defaults and go down here and rendering path change that to deferred and this is of course if this is what you're aiming for in your project but I'm just going through this because this is um, what I recommend using this art pack with all right so there we go um, yeah doesn't look great not sure why 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 is that oh that's right we need custom deferred shading <laughs> these on um, it goes jumping again sorry every time you change something it starts jumping around um, yeah this these shaders they are deferred single-sided translucencies so you know they need custom deferred shading um, so we'll do that here we'll do deferred deferred reflections and even uh, now they have the death normal in the graphics, so that's good. It's different from 5.6, but I'll go through in 5.6 how to fix that too. Um, we can delete that now. Go back. I don't know why I did that. All right, so yeah, down here we're going to change. Now we're using deferred. We're going to change deferred to custom shader and deferred reflections to custom shader. And in here we'll load this and bring this over and just type in deferred. And the diffuse will be the second one, at least in this empty package. Um, deferred reflections. All right, so there we go. So now they're shaded correctly. Um, yeah, they are deferred, single-sided, so they get nice translucency. And yeah, they perform a lot better, a lot less calls and everything. Really, really great shading. So, on. of course, no image effects here. This is just the base Unity. But, yeah, they should look a lot better now. And also, over here in the def normal, let's change that to, um, I think we just type in depth. Yeah, CTI camera depth normal texture. All right. And that should work. It should work with image effects fine. The post-process stack is what I test, and it works fine with that. Um, you know, I have issues with the some of the effects, but I haven't tested them in 2017 yet, Unity 2017, but they seem to work okay. Of course, most people will be using premium effects from the store, but it I do test it with the post-process stack, and it works fine. All right, so there we go, and now I will go into 5.6, which I already have a scene loaded, and I'll just go through how to do the CTI depth texture in 5.6 since I know price some people are still using it. So I saved a prefab here and if you load on TFP 1.1 go to extra and CTI depth just load this into the scene and you can bring it up top whatever you want it already has the shader applied and this will just apply that shader it has to be per scene with 5.6 since you'll see in the um, in the graphics panel there was no one um, Death normal, like in 2017, they added. So that's good that they added in 2017 because it was a weird thing to remove. All right, so yes, it should work fine now. It works 5.6, 2017.1. I have not tested 2017.2 beta. I'm not going to test with beta since usually they break shaders every you know five minutes. So yeah, that's it. Just basic import settings, and you should be rocking. All right, thanks guys.